name? Be fix it for you. No. Said I'd come to the wrong place. But he sells dumplings now. Jonas swore it was Hattori's handiwork. And with a warranty. Quite a prick. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome to The Witcher 3 under that much difficulty. You might have heard these guys talking about it, but um, you have these yellow exclamation parts all over the map that are quests that you need to uh, start by talking to some people. I uh, hold off a few on a few of them because of the level requirement that I'm not really sure, so I'm gonna call this a bit of the freeform episode. I'm gonna go around town, around Novigrad, trying to do the quests that are behind those yellow exclamation marks. And those guys actually removed that exclamation mark that was inside this blacksmith. So um, if this is a small quest, I'm gonna do a few of these. If this is a bigger one, I'm gonna do only this one. So let's start off this quest. I think it was something with dumplings. So uh, hello, Hattori. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. But it was a blacksmith! A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades, who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, Well, my indeed. silver sword was made in Oxenfurt. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Um, don't you, uh... Sure, I'll try one. Are they any good? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Well, yeah. You're a blacksmith, right? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Okay then. This is starting off intriguing. He has a workshop apparently. Quite a collection. Premium quality too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Yeah, that armor looked amazing. Not that one, the one on the right, which they're Damn not showing shame anymore. You don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's that. much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. Yeah, I, I can see. agree that. Someone that. controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. Remember and what I said before? This sounds like a really big cleaver. quest. Frequently. Okay, er, Ernst von Hoeing. I'm gonna say that with my Dutch accents, because it's actually a, a Dutch name. Ernst van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Well, I do. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... It's actually you funny. You miss the heat of the forge. 
tried getting supplies from someone else. And he earns more with some things than with blacksmithing. Control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless, would you be willing to help me? Of course, because I have some connections. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... Choose something from your collection? <laughs> oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. See, that sounds know. great. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. <laughs> must be taught a lesson. But I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. What will we do with that? Okay, you arrange a meeting. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Okay. So, of sorts and dumplings. Well, it's good news. I uh, don't see a red skull above it, so uh, I'm gonna quickly check the level. It is level 24, but, uh, well, I have done quests with uh, that were five levels above me, so why not? Looks really interesting, so we need to head to the docks, which is right over here, and then probably meditate until dark, which is good, because that gives me a chance to uh, get my resources back. So over here, and then... Why'd your hair go white? Meditate till after dark. There we go. Um, Hattori. Hello, Hattori. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Yep, I am. Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Okay. Arr! There are the a lot of people in the way. His name is Tin Boy. What do you Tin know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. That's probably true. So hopefully all goes well in this deal. I'm gonna save. There we go. Lead the way, Hattori. It's probably in here. There we go. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A I think I friend. would be pretty famous right about now, but especially uh, with the King of Beggars, man. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Well, it should be negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. That's a bit too much. Um... Let's negotiate. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Ugh, 35's as low as we'll go. Hmm. Okay, is that okay with you, Hattori? Fine. We'll take your offer. Perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Hmm. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, you should have said something if it wasn't the oh, okay. Okay. Cleaver! Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Yeah, prick whittler. Damn it. Okay then. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! Travels fast. What do we do? Um, the hangman's venom is perfect for this. There we go, poisons. Oh, shit. 
and then set them on fire. There we go. Ooh. There goes everything. Oh no, there's, just, there's still one over there. Hey, little buddy. Geralt, quickly! What, quickly? Why do we need to be quick? Because, um... They're just... They're all dead. No. How many guys does Cleaver have? We just Careful. killed... There could be more in there! And where? Should I move Follow on? Me. He's not really following. Um. Okay. We look okay, don't we? Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Probably true as well. Um, you give us any win, man. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare. Can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> oh, you're a real joker, are you? We chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. Katori, wait. Wow, did he already return to his shop? That was fast. You just saw him jump over a wall. Oh, let's hope he's not dead already. Because uh, that would be sad. You want a blacksmith here. Knock on the door. Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until mid van. Okay, not what we agreed. <laughs> Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help what me! What is he drinking? No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Oh, come on, Precisely. Geralt. Precisely. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. Oh, God. Yeah, indeed. Where am I supposed to find your bodyguard? What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Okay, you then. to him yourself? We parted... Not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Don't leave me this way. So, I'm gonna try and enlist this uh, Sucrus from Skalliger as his bodyguard to see you at that bar, probably, in a second. Okay. They're already punching each other, so... Uh, yes, I should interject. Yeah, we should. <clears throat> Thanks for the distraction, the I suppose. We weren't done conversing. Conversing. Conversation. Yeah, with his fists. Not your plown business. You need a smack, is that it? Oh, for fuck's sake. 
There we go. It was marked as a very dangerous enemy, but carrying Sorry, the, the but trick. Sorry, you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sacrus, you did well, mate. Thanks. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. Sounds like a plan. And get drunk in the golden sturgeon. I'm back in the basement. What brings you here, Garrett? Well, um, maybe I should ask you first why you were fighting you with the, the merchant. merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plow and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk made first. Skellige mead. We need barrels. We'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly. And that's yes. something I can agree on as well. So, I've got a job for you. Looking you might for a not guard. like it, though. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Your brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. I well, shared I a him. sentiment, Near Geralt. The docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Punch him in the face. Stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. A uh, mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Okay then. So get money or uh, what's with the enemies outside? Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair Convince go this Caliga merchant to pay his debts to Sucrus or destroy his goods. There's enemies outside. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Why are there enemies outside? I shouldn't even check, right? Um. So, the Skellige Merchant, is this the boat just right outside here? What is this? I think the Witcher GPS is confused again. See, what the hell? I'm gonna quickly finish these guys off. Look at them dance. There we go. Oh, look at his legs still go. Oh, his legs! Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, not really sure where we need to go here. The Skellica Merchant. On this boat? Or oh, for fuck's sake, it's the next one. Um, I suppose I might... Okay, that worked. Probably not the way to do it, but... Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get... Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Oh, I get it. You won't. So, um... <laughs> let's convince him that palm trees do grow on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Goodbye, sir. Look at that smirk on Geralt's face. Um, so... Ah, okay, there's a dock around here. That wasn't really clear on the Witcher GPS, but... Ah, yeah, this is where we uh, said goodbye to Triss. There's another dude below us. Okay. Good for them, though. So let's head back to Sucrus. And tell him we actually managed to get his him his money. Uh, it's still downstairs, I presume. 
go. Hello, Sir Chris. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? <laughs> so, I uh, got your coin back. Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. <gasps> so who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Well, that went easier than I thought. Glad he's not asking me for another favor. So, I was presuming I can return to uh, yeah, Hattori right now. So, see you at Hattori's place in a second. So, back at Hattori's place. Well, the. Oh. Oh, he's already here. How the hell did he do that? Okay, never mind. Not asking questions. Hi, Hattori. Greetings, Hattori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Oh, God. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Oh, spill your beans. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. Okay, what are you getting me into? What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's probably it's my simple. fault, sorry, Geralt. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. Stop talking about trebuchets and all catapults. Alright, alright. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Why? Why? Why would that smell of ammonia? Greetings. Oh, Garrett. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I was starting to get bored. Why are you wet if you're sitting on the road? Yeah, never mind. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there. Look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. Do you well, guys know more than dark, those two places? See you there. So, I'm kind of hoping this is still after dark. So, uh, let's go back to, this, to the warehouse in the docks. And I'll see you there in a second again. It appears they're already here, so hello, Sir Chris. Magically teleporting Sir Chris. All right, we know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Sounds Fine. great. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. That sounds like a great plan, Sir Chris. So, let's go uh, take care of that uh, guard. That looks like two guards, not one guard. Oh, my coin. <laughs> oh it's the merchant. It's the merchant. The merchant we swindled. It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? 
I'm fine, thank you. A witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yarp and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Ah, oh, from Yarp and Zigrin. So Yarp and Zigrin is a, a dwarf, a dwarven no. character from in the books. And a very nice that friend of Geralt. Hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Uh... Should I bribe him or just Hocus Pocus the guy? Let's Hocus Pocus the guy. What I'm looking for is none of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. Sorry, dude, but kind of need to get in. Uh, locked. Uh, apparently, I got a key yeah, as well. Crafting supplies. Ooh. Might want to steal everything here. If I would be able to, and take something from, oh for fuck's sake! Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I want. Um, this should smell. Must be it. Okay. If you're sure of it, I'll agree with you. More booze than this Does one. Stink of ammonia. I still think it's a weird scent that he That'd would need to it. make swords. Gotta signal them now. So let's go outside. Probably get ambushed by some assholes. That's not really signaling, is it? Idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker! Oi, Garrett. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Oh, Super. that's Van Horn. Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you! That plowy non chew will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Oh, I'd like Hands to see you my try. brother in law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood. Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Garrett. Adam. Yeah, let's dance. Give him here, Sucris. Twear sang! So there's a lot of dudes here. This guy knows how to fight. Hey, Van Horn, burn, baby, burn. And down they go. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt backer. Friends? Course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean okay. to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes to. Won't be any more trouble to uh, It looks and like he's we'll just waking up, venture. but... But first we have to move these crates to her Tories. True. I had to pay him a visit too. Okay. Can I loot anything? Uh, crowns. More crowns. And crowns. Okay, never mind. So. And now, hopefully, for the last time, we're gonna head back to Hattori. So we can finish this up. So, see you in a second. So, back at Hattori's. He's already outside, so. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing alright? 
Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. Have no need of sucrus anymore, and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. Okay, and can you work in peace now? So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that sword eventually, but this is the end of that quest for now. I'll probably return after uh, somewhere in the next episode, maybe. Um, but for now, I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, next episode, we'll probably do a few other of those yellow exclamation mark quests. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Because I really like that. Thank you. So, thank you guys and obviously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.